Hey, good afternoon. It's now one o'clock. This is my third video today. Um, I've got two more after this planned. So the subject of this video is the new mini catalog, and I want to show you some bundles that are punch bundles. So I think that'll be kind of cool. Um, it sometimes you just don't have the stamp and emboss machine or stamp and emboss cut and emboss machine. And sometimes you're just in a hurry or you're traveling or you're doing a class and you just want to pass a punch around. So punches are great because they, okay. I just had my SOS message come up on my phone. So I had to cancel that. I obviously don't want the police showing up or the fire department. Okay, so mini catalog. I haven't showed you this yet, just the cover. And the first one I am going to feature is called Dandy Garden. And this was released in November to demonstrators. So we've had it for a while and been able to play with it for a while. You've got a two page spread and there's actually more. It's actually four pages. I don't have this set yet, this bundle, but I have this with the punch. I'm going to show you and I have some of the other accompanying stuff that goes with it so there it is in the catalog let me show you there's the stamp set and then we have the punch and um, I do have a video showing how I made some cards so I'm not really going to do that today uh, I'll post all this on my blog in the upcoming days but I just want to show you the products um, some great stamps I really like the font I love when they um, change it up a little. These are red rubber and then the punch has a dandy or a dragonfly that coordinates with these two big ones and there isn't a stamp for the little one but um, that wasn't a problem. I show you what I did. For instance I cut one with some Calypso coral paper and then I just used a pen and drew on it and I am not a great sketch artist at all. I'm horrible, in fact. But I was able to do that and make it look pretty realistic. So that was kind of fun. Um, okay, let me show you some of the things that come with this set. Here's the paper. Or come in the suite. Of course, it, you got to buy it s separately. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Birgit. So this paper is really vibrant. Um, it's a pack of 40 sheets. You get four of 10 different designs, I believe. And there's different ones on the backs and the front. So lots of options with um, the coral color, Calypso Coral, the Mossy Meadow, the blue is Misty Moonlight, and the purple is Blackberry Bliss. So there's just tons of color variations you get something that's kind of solid and muted and then you can get something that's wilder and got more going on with it so hi sandy thank you for joining me so that's the paper pack that comes in that suite um there's also some super cute ladybugs can you see those they're brass colored and you can glue them on with glue dots i'll show you how i did that I think you get 24, something like that, of those. And then this is the ribbon. It's a green, very narrow braid, but it's really pliable, so it's super easy to tie a bow. It's not too thick. Then another feature with this suite is called Dandy Laser Cut Paper. And I'm opening this for the first time. I haven't even peeked at this yet. They always package stuff to really protect it. So these are designs that they have already pre-cut um, with a laser. And so you can see these are some that would be great card backs. And then there's some too with some dandelions and some sentiment pieces. And these are die cut. You just pop them out. Uh, they're with a kind of paper that you can color with sponging or probably whatever you can think of so let me show you some quick cards that I've made over the 
past couple weeks. Um, so you can just kind of see how the different designer series paper work in with the different um, cards or different colors. Here the dragonflies, the small dragonfly was just punched out of white paper. Here's some with, again, two different, uh, three different, actually, designer series paper. Here's one I made with some sponging. And again, I know I'm going fast, but I do have another post I'm going to make. And I have a pretty extensive video on how I did all these cards. So, And then there's a real monochromatic one. So isn't that fun? That's the Dandy Garden Suite, and it starts on page 24 of the mini catalog. Oh, one more thing that you may not know. There is a dandelion embossing folder in the annual catalog. So you could add this to your design. You could emboss and then create some dragonflies or something to add to it. Hi, Kathy. It's fun to have different people joining me. I feel like I'm not talking to myself or the wall. Okay, that's that one. The next one I want to show you are a couple that um, I haven't done a lot with. And these are just simple bundles. They're not part of a suite. So this is called the Oval Occasions Bundle. You have the punch and the stamp set that goes with it. And the fun thing about this is, this is designed for this to be set inside this. So this bigger piece will frame this. And then you have a stamp set with several different occasions. Um, birthday, baby, kind of a treat packaging. Thank you. You could even make that um, anniversary or something like that. So I whipped out a card about 15 minutes ago because um, I wanted to show you how to nest those. I stamped in white on uh, white cardstock in black ink and cut out the smaller white oval. And then I cut out the larger oval with some just jade cardstock. And I stamped the bunnies and I made a little baby card. So that's what I did with that one. Um, but I think this will come really in handy. And this size, you can use a lot of stamps and a lot of sentiments. So this is on, let me see, page 65. Let me show it to you. So you know what it looks like. Here it is. And they use the bunny theme to do some Easter packaging. And you could just do a lot with this um, set. And the bundle is only $33.25, so that's not bad at all. Okay, next one I want to show you is called Sweet Strawberry. Um, I'll show you in the catalog first. It's page 44. Again, all this stuff went live today, so you, you'll now see it in the store. Here's the Sweet Strawberry. It's got the stamp set, and the punch is a Build a Strawberry punch. So let me show you how that works. There you have all the stamps. You've got an outline image for a strawberry. You've got an inside stamp to, co to color the strawberry. You have the little leaf thing that goes on the top, or I should call it the stem. And then you've got leaves here. You've got some flowers because strawberries bloom with little flowers before they grow into berries and there's just a bigger image again I love the fonts on this I think they're really interesting and I like when they combine fonts so here's the punch hope you can see it um, there's your large strawberry outline image there's your stem your leaf and a flower so you would stamp and then just put the paper in from the back and I'm going to pretend like this is stamped. It isn't. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper here. Say I wanted to cut that leaf. You know, I just have to put it in under there and punch it out. So pretend that was stamped. And that's just how easy it is. You can cut out all the components you need to build your strawberries. So let me show you some cards I've made with this when I was playing. With this, I took some uh, Tasteful Textures 
designer series paper and I embossed it with a um the new what is oh I can't remember what it's called I'll get it on my notes when I put this up and then I stamped oh before I embossed I stamped the strawberries and you can see the I used this image in a kind of a light pinkish coralish color I think it was um clipso coral and then if you can see the gray I used this stamp for the gray I wanted this to be really muted. I could have used black, but I wanted it to be really muted. And then I add the stems and a sentiment. This one, I actually stamped the paper in the back. So I used two different colors of red for the strawberries, a lighter one for the background color, a darker one for all the outlining. I used this big stamp uh, in about five places. I colored those with... Um, the alcohol blends markers. The strawberries were stamped, but the other things were actually colored. And then I added some ribbon. I added a little vellum, which always makes, I think it makes it look kind of fancy. And then added a sentiment. And then here's another one. And you can see the strawberries and the outlines of the stem a little better. So I used that stamp in the darker green. It was garden green. And then I used this stamp in the lighter green to color it, and that was pear pizzazz. And then the strawberries are real red. And the outline, I think I used Mary Merlot. Anyway, that's actually I used Poppy Parade on those two and real red on this one. I tried to make the strawberries a little different color. So that is that bundle. It's called Sweet Strawberry. And of course, that'll coordinate really well with that uh, celebration berry, the berry celebration set that I showed you earlier today. And then the last suite I want to show you is called Ice Cream Corner. And this one I've received new enough that I haven't done anything with it yet. But here's the suite. Those are ideas. Here's the things that you can get in the suite or you can buy individually. Got paper, the bundle with the stamp and the, or stamp and the punch, ribbon, and then these great little dots. They're like sprinkles. So let me show this all to you. I've got the stuff. I just haven't played with it yet. Um, I'll show you the punch and the stamp set. Um, this stamp set is photopolymer which is good because then you can see where you're stamping. These are sticks to go on the popsicles. This is a cone to go on the, uh, with the scoop of ice cream. And these hash marks go on the cone. So you would stamp in a lighter color, do the hash marks in a darker color. Got sprinkles if you need it. Um, different sprinkles. There's even, I don't know if that is a candle. I'm not sure what that is. Um, that's the fun of playing with it. You get to figure it out. Uh, the punch works for the scoop of ice cream and the cone. So it does not work for the popsicle, but that's okay. You could cut that out by hand. Um, here are the little sprinkles. I, I'm hoping when I open this, they don't go everywhere because I would like to keep them in this thing. Can you see how tiny they are? They look like those, uh, that Neko candy. Remember that stuff? But they're super tiny. They make a great shaker card. You could also glue these on individually. Um, with Tombow, multi-purpose glue would work or whatever you could come up with. But those sprinkles are really fun. And then the ribbon that's part of this is gorgeous. It's sheer, but it has a stripe through it. Can you see that? If I lay it against something white, maybe you can see the stripes in it. Um, it's probably about 3 8 inch thick and it looks like it'll tie pretty easily. I, that's kind of how I decide if I like ribbon. Can I tie a bow pretty easily or not? And that's not bad at all. I like the sheer part of it. So that's that and then the paper is super fun and colorful lots of different ice cream and 
summer treat images. And the color palette is, I like it because it's bright, but it's not obnoxious. It doesn't seem like childish colors. Um, oh, I'm glad you just ordered it, Jamie. Um, obviously, the reverse of this is for the ice cream cones, so you could cut out a ton of cones with that paper. Or you could use the it, use it for the background. These kind of evoke the image of the popsicle. They're just really pretty, a little bit muted. There's a um, again that's blackberry bliss stripe. Here's a ton of popsicles. These would be super easy to cut out by hand. Um, not difficult at all. Or you could use it as a background paper. And there you have a coordinating stripe to go with them. The next one is similar to that uh, other one I showed you, only it's blues and greens, where the other one, bring that back in, was more the peaches, the corals, and the purple. So this is blues and greens, and the background is a green polka dot. That's pretty. And here we have more watermelony colored and yellow. And these will be great for backgrounds on cards, but you could also just take a piece of it and work it into your design. Ooh, I really like that. And um, do you see these streaks? That's on purpose. It's to make it look a little bit watercolored, a little bit faded. When they first started doing this about five years ago, they were getting calls from everybody saying, my paper's got flaws in it. Well, that's all intentional, and I really like it. It makes it not a solid. And then here's the last one. Again, these wouldn't be too hard to cut out by hand if you wanted to. And then there's kind of a sprinkle background. So that is the ice cream corner suite. As I said, you could get all of it in a suite, or you can buy just the bundle. Or you could buy just the stamps, just the punch, um, you know, and buy this other stuff, whatever you decided. So just a reminder, it's um, celebration now, uh, all of January and February. For every $50 you spend, you get to choose something from the celebration brochure, which I shared in my first video today. Then I'll bring it back here. Um, there's paper. There's stamps, all kinds of freebies, a um, lot of fun. And of course, um, it's for every $50 increment. There are a couple things that you need $100, so that would be two, two $50 increments. Um, and say you put in a an order of $200, you would be entitled to up to four three free things. Four free things. Say that a bunch twice, bunch fast, I can't. Um, so anyway, celebrations going on. It, you could easily get this suite. I think that would qualify, but you could also add something else, add some envelopes or some cardstock or whatever. So I'm going to be blogging about all of this I in the next few days. I was waiting until it went live. I don't want to show too much that people can't get. I like to be able to show it and say, and... If you want this, you can get it and staying instead of saying, oh, sorry, it's really cool, but you can't buy it yet. So that's why I wait. So keep up with my blog. You can access it through this. You can access the store um, and any other information. If you want to contact me, ask me questions, it's super easy to get into this hobby. Uh, it's one of the easiest hobbies I've ever done. You don't have to be crafty and you don't have to be an artist. In fact, stamping is so non-artist friendly. Um, I am a horrible drawer. and um, But when I do stamping, I just feel like I'm an artist. By the time I stamp and color a little bit and come up with different ideas, uh, I did all that with sponges. So it's just so fun and... Um, no, no talent, no experience required. I can help anybody do this. So contact me if you're interested. And otherwise, I will be back at 3 o'clock. And I'm going to do a video on some of the 
dies and stamp bundles that are in the new catalog. Some of the favorites that I have so far. So thanks for joining me. Um, see you again.